Hey guys, it's Cathol for here. Today's the 1st of July 2011, and today is day 39 of the vlogs. So, before I start with the vlog properly, um, I wanted to quickly make sure that you guys knew about an event that I'll be holding on the 2nd of July 2011, which is this coming Saturday, or actually, it's tomorrow within the next 24 hours. And uh, yeah, uh, the reason I'm saying this is because yesterday I made a video about it. And it only got 500 views. I was very concerned, you know, why am I getting so little views on this? And uh, and then I realized that uh, that YouTube was currently having problems with its subscription inbox. So um, some people may have had problems. Well, some people will have not seen the video at all. But some people will have got it. And, uh, and yeah, basically, you know, that was obviously a huge issue. Because uh, when I'm promoting an event, naturally, I want everybody to see it. So that so that I get the maximum amount of people possible coming to the event. So uh, so yeah, I just want to uh, mention that. Firstly, you know, it will be on the uh, the second of July, which is Saturday, which is within the next twenty four hours. It will be at six p.m. BST, one p.m. EST, twelve p.m. Central. It will be on World eighty four. It will be using my CC Cthulhu. That will be uh, in the description. Um, there will be what else? So um, we will meet at Lumbridge Basement. Um, I would like it if everybody could um, could keep you know their attack style they actually use open to the um, to the last you know you know half an hour and then ask everybody what they're doing and then obviously go through go you know take the take the uh, road um, less walked on so for example you know if everyone's saying melee and range then uh, then that would be really helpful if you went mage because uh, we would want an equal amount for uh, for the uh, the combat triangle. Um, also, a uh, few people will be dark lighting for me. I will, I will name those people during the trip, and basically that just means you know go from demon to demon, um, weakening them, and then moving on to the next one. Not having to kill them, just weaken them and prepare them for the the rest of the team. It's going to be a fun, chaotic event. Um, like I said in the event video, I mean it's my favorite event of any that you can uh, that you can have on RuneScape. So, um, so if that isn't already enough of a reason to come, then I don't know what is. Um, it will be coin share. I think I mentioned that, and uh, and yeah, just in case. I mean, it's very unlikely, but just in case we go over a hundred people, um, I will um, I will have a secondary CC rogue leader. There is more to say, um, but uh, but all that information is on the video that I posted yesterday. So instead, there will be an annotation and a link in the description going to that video. So please do check it out if you reckon that uh, at the times that I mentioned and at uh, well tomorrow, if you are free, then uh, then definitely uh, seriously consider coming. So uh, moving on to the actual vlog, um, well again, you know, this relates to yesterday's video, but uh, yesterday's video's uh, footage was uh, completely at Corporal Beast. It was basically me failing my first attempt uh, at uh, killing Corporal Beast in the method that I, I wanted to use. So um, so yeah, this is this is the second attempt. This is the attempt that I did almost straight after, and uh, and this was successful. So the video footage you're watching right now was my first ever Corporal Beast solo. And um, and I have to say that this was the most unskillful, most um, you know least least demanding method that um, that I've ever had to uh, had to do. And um, and honestly, you know, I would love to think that uh, that I you know the first person to have to have you know done this before. I think I am. I you know I can't know for sure. But but basically, I tanked Corporal Beast. I don't believe I got hit for more than 200 unless my prayer went down. Of course, if my prayer did go down, I probably did get more hit, hit more, for more than 200. But uh, but yeah, uh, the tanking was just going so well. I don't believe I got hit more than for 200 when I had my mage prey on. And it was just working so well. Uh, basically, to summarize what I was doing in terms of tanking. Um, firstly, I had Pernix. So, um, so that actually means four things. That means magic defense. That means magic soak damage rather magic damage soak um, that means increased life points and that means increased healing effect of uh, Saradomian Bruise uh, then I had Divine on top of that so that's 30% of damage on top of that I have Magic Prey um, by far casting by ranging from a distance forcing the Corporal Beast to only use magic therefore you know only having to pray against magic and take magic damage so um, so that was you know very very uh, useful uh, not having to uh, deal with melee damage. Um, what else? Um, I had rigor. I bought rigor just before I did this, and um, and yeah, that was another twenty five percent defense bonus there. Um, I had overload, so one hundred and twenty defense there. 
Um, what else? Um, I think there's at least one more thing to mention, but I can't think of it, so I'm just going to leave it. But yeah, I think you can gather from all of that that um, that there's absolutely, you know, that it was it's the best tanking gear you can possibly have, and it was just it was so much fun. Uh, basically you know what corporal beast has always been a dps race it's been about you know can you kill it before it kills you well you know what i say that but that's probably not a hundred percent true people who soul split switch it probably obviously don't have that issue but um but yeah i mean for normal people who don't soul split switch the issue is you know being able to kill it before your food runs out and um, and with my method my method you know we've i've achieved a lot uh the first thing is i've tanked it the second thing is you require absolutely no skill. You don't have the soul split switch. You don't have to do anything special. You just have to stand there and kill it. And uh, and yeah, so you don't have to have even the you know the, even the smallest amount of skill unrequired. You don't need anything. Um, well, I say you don't need anything. What you do need is at least pernix and divine. I would say those two are two major items that you need to have. I mean, I obviously I would say rigor as well um overloads etc but uh but in terms of skill i mean in in terms of ability you you do need you know some of the best ability you know i'm probably using the wrong words here but let's just say you need to be wealthy and uh and you need to play a decent amount so that you have a decent amount of dungeoneering tokens to buy rigor etc and uh, and yeah that's that's what will uh, allow you to kill corporal beast yourself solo quite easily without any uh any real skill so um so yeah, like I said, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. Um, only my second attempt and I managed to do it. Um, and uh, what else? What else should I say? So so throughout the second attempt, I was I was realizing ways that I could actually improve what I was doing. So, um, so you know, the next time I go, my third attempt, um, you know, it'll be even better. Naturally, you know, what I'm now thinking about, I'm, the, the pressure of killing Corporal Beast is completely gone now. I don't actually believe I'd have problem with killing the Corporal Beast ever, at least once during a trip um so you know my new focus is on killing it as quickly as possible and and perhaps even trying to get a second kill so that's what i'll I'll continue doing in these vlogs i'll be trying to you know just improve my own skill a bit again i will not i will not be going you know i will not be soul split switching that is something that i refuse to do but um uh, but yeah i mean everything else i will i will try my best to do I'll try my best to get better. For example, you know, one of the things I've already improved is that uh, straight afterward I went Dungeoneering and I got, you know, the other uh, few tokens that I needed to get uh, my Chaotic Crossbow. So, um, so yeah, like, for example, I told you two weeks ago that I had a short-term goal and that short-term goal was to get Rigor and uh, Chaotic Crossbow for next. Well, I've now completed that, but rather than using it for next just now, I'm going to be using it for uh, Corporal Beast. And uh, yeah, I mean, I know, you know, I'm sure that I'll get lots of comments like, oh, you know what, it'll be easier to melee, you know, it'll be faster to melee, you should soul split, you know, all that kind of rubbish. I honestly, I don't care, guys. Um, I'm not going to be soul split switching, and I really wanted to, you know, be the first person to tank it, which is why I didn't melee, because, you know, then I would have to be dealing with melee attacks, and yeah, it wouldn't work so well. Anyway, you know, I've said it enough times, but I had immense fun doing it. And I'm very happy that I've now completed it. And uh, and yeah, that's, you know, that's what you can expect for the next couple of vlogs at very least. I will be at Corporal Beast trying to uh, kill it faster and uh, kill more during a trip. So uh, so thank you for watching and, uh, and hopefully I'll see you at the Tormented uh, Demon trip. There is a small chance that uh, that one I may be on live streaming it with uh, with my friend Gia who's co-hosting the event and two that I would uh, be getting 99 agility on the same day uh, 99 agility it just depends on how I feel on the live stream that completely depends on Gia because I won't be setting up myself I'll just let him do it and then I'll talk to him on Skype and then via Skype I'll be talking to you guys as well um, all the information about Skype uh, about the live stream link and everything like that I will post that you know just before the event so um, so yeah if you're coming to the event or even if you're not coming to the event um, on Saturday just uh, about an hour before the event I'll probably post a video reminder telling you about uh, the event but also then providing you the details for the live stream so uh, so yeah that's that's all I've got to say thank you guys for uh, for watching for listening etc and uh, and yeah until until tomorrow until uh, before the event see you then